On this episode of Broken Signal, we'll install HD Home Run and TV Scan from Rabbit Ears to Autolog Television DX. If this is your first time watching, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any future episodes. Besides a television antenna and a computer, you're going to need a TV tuner. There are three models made by Silicon Dust that are known to work with Rabbit Ears software. They are the HDHR1, the HDHR3, and the HDHR5. The HDHR4 may work, but it has had issues with reporting signal strengths, so it is not recommended. As well as, do not buy the Prime model, that is for cable only. You can find these models on eBay for fairly reasonable price used. Or if you want to buy new, you could buy the HD HR5 new on Amazon. I'll provide an Amazon affiliate link in the description below so you could easily find it. First we'll install HD Home Run software. If we open a web browser and go to siliconduscom then under support Go to Downloads. Under HD Home Run Software, we want to download HD Home Run Software for Windows. Once the download completes, we'll open the executable and we'll follow a standard Windows installation. Once the installer is finished, we'll open the install wizard. If we go to digital antenna, we can select the tuner ID and the tuner number and hit scan to start a channel scan to make sure that our tuner is working properly first. Once the scan is complete, we can go ahead and close the window. If you go to the directory where you installed HD Home Run, the default for 64-bit Windows is under Windows Program Files Silicon Dust HD Home Run. We could open the HD Home Run config.gui executable. Select the tuner. and then we can set the channel and from here you could also view the channel if you have VLC installed. Now to auto scan we need some software from Rabbit Ears. So if you go to rabbitears.info under live band scan to learn about joining the live band scan click here. We'll need to send them an email with the following information by clicking the email me the 8-digit ID of your tuner, whether you'll be using Tuner 0 or Tuner 1 or both, what operating system you'll be using, the latitude and longitude of your location, and how you'd like to be identified if you're included in the big scan, and information you're willing to share about your antenna setup, so what antenna, what height, whatever. Then they'll send you a link to download the software. Once you click on the link that they email you, you can save the file. And then we'll click on the executable to start the install. And it's a standard Windows installer. We'll install it under Program Files x86. Now if we look in the same page for joining the live band scan, we can see that it has the commands for how to run a scan. So basically what we need to do is create a new text file and in that text file we'll give it a command to change directory to the program files TV channel scan bin directory. 
and then we'll start the scan tuner exe with the flags of the tuner ID, the tuner number, and dash D for the debug. Then we'll do file save and if we rename it we can rename it to scan TV or whatever you like dot bat and that'll create it as a bat file. Now we can double click the batch file we can see that it's scanning. If we right click on the title bar and hit properties we could change the font size. You'll notice when it receives a channel. And then when it's done scanning it'll transmit the information to rabbit ears so you could view it on the map. Now that you have it installed and running, you can reply to the email that they sent you and let them know that you have it running successfully and they'll add you to the live band scan. The live band scan lists the tuners of people who volunteered to share their information. And you should see yourself down in the list. We'll just click on one so I can show you what it looks like. If we look at this one, we can see the different stations that they received. You could sort by the last 24 hours ever received, which you can see they had some nice tropospheric propagation. I'll also include the link to the grid view. You just need to change your tuner ID and which tuner number you're using. You can select logged RF channels for the time frame that you want. Click go and you'll see the stations that your tuner received within that time frame as well as the distance. If you click on a call sign it'll take you to a graph page to where you can see where you last received the station. Now you have HD Home Run installed and you're scanning with rabbit ears and sending the information to their maps. If we go back to the channel scanning, you could also open the HD Home Run Config GUI and you could watch live while it's doing a scan the signal strengths of the stations it's receiving as it's scanning through the channels. And that's it. Now you're auto logging long distance television. If this video is helpful, give it a like. And make sure to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss future episodes.